Hey everybody, Chris Krasistik with EXP here. Uh, wanted to quick kind of go into a video on what buyers should be doing right now and what buyers are encountering right now in the market. So my last video, I did say that there's a bottleneck in inventory. People are not putting their house on the, their homes on the market. Um, we're still seeing a competitive seller's market as a result of that. So meaning that there's more buyers than there are sellers, even with the rates having gone up um, and many buyers pulling back, we're still seeing a lot of buyers in the area uh, as opposed to the amount of homes that are on the market. Um, and that doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. Uh, and in addition, it doesn't look like prices are going to go down because there's no inventory or there's no imbalance pushing the market down. Um, so the DC region is probably going to see stable home prices for a while and we're going to see stable in interest rates. So that scenario is not going to change anytime soon. So what does a buyer have to do? Well, buyers should be and they need to be very prepared and educated so that they can act decisively. They are going to have a limited amount of opportunities, so you have to do your very best and make those count as much as possible. Um, I'm still experiencing a lot of buyers that have um, multiple offer scenarios and they're losing out on offers um, because there's just better financing or people are able to offer more than asking price or a situation like that. Um, so you want to have your financing and loan application squared away, done as much as you can. Your lender should have talked about financing options with you, the type of financing you qualify for, and uh, potentially buying down your interest rate to make the payment more affordable or something like that. Um, in addition, you should have your search criteria dialed in um, very accurately and let your realtor know uh, what that search criteria is so they can be looking on your behalf and as that changes you want to communicate that to your realtor as well so they can keep an eye on stuff uh, and send you anything that they might find whether it be on or off market. Um, you also finally need to be able to look at homes within one to three days of them hitting the market because there are a lot of people who are going to look at homes and the chances of a house going under contract in the first week it's on the market is still very high. Hope this information helps. If you have any more questions about home buying in the area, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to help.